Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you 5 tips to make your titles look more professional. So let's check it out. Alright, so the first tip is picking matching color for your titles. You want to pick complementary color on the color wheel or color that just work well together. If you're not sure what color to select, you can use a website like colors.co that will give you a color palette that work well together. You can here choose from two, three, four, five color, and you're gonna get matching color that make your design look more harmonious. Now, another way to do that is you could choose complementary color within your footage. So here, for example, I could select the pink from that neon sign and the yellow from that neon sign to create a gradient and use those two color together. So here, for example, if I bring a title in my timeline and I go to make a gradient, right there i can just pick those two color here by selecting the first one I can just go take my picker and then select a pink color right here then select my second point and then with the picker same thing here picking up the yellow color now selecting the two color but the point are too far apart and the color are blending too much together so it doesn't work so then i'm just going to adjust the position of each color to bring more of the pink in the frame and then bringing more of the yellow in the frame as well until we find the right position to mix them properly. Then we add some glow and we get a title that matches the color of our footage. If you're unsure which color are available in your footage, you can just go over to OpenFX, then search for palette. And here you can just drop the color palette onto your clip and it will just bring down a chart of the color available in your piece of footage. So then you can just easily play around with those and here uh, select from that color palette that DaVinci Resolve gave you. Here, for example, we could experiment with more of the blue tone and the brown slash orange tone. Again, adjusting the position to really get the mix that you want. So right now we got color that match the jacket of our character and the blue from the background. But as you can see, it's too dark. So we can just play a bit with the tone of those color now with the slider, bringing that up to have something that looks a bit brighter for both of them, but that still match the color theme of our footage. The second tip is to select the right font for your project. So by default in DaVinci, the font that will be selected will be Open Sun. As you can see, it's pretty basic. I think there is a lot of better font out there that you can use even if uh, you want something neutral. There is a ton of different font out there that you can choose from. So make sure to just pick the right font for your project. If you don't know where to select free font, you can find some uh, on Google font. There is a huge library of fonts that you can use that are very very good that are free for both personal and commercial projects i also like to use da font or fontesk but depending on your project please be always sure to select a font that is free for commercial use or on open license so you don't run into some legal issue when you're doing work for a client for example there's a lot to be learned about font and typography to really convey your message properly but here are three modern fonts that i enjoy using for a neutral look the first one is the monserrat family i've used it a lot in the video as you've seen the second one is poppin i really enjoy it and you see it a lot on modern websites you see it a lot in modern website and user interface and the last one that is very classic is roboto you can easily get those fonts for free on Google Fonts. The third tip is spacing. Please make sure to have the same amount of space at the bottom and at the top of your text when it's in a box. Also, make sure to give it a considerable amount of space to just let your design breathe a little bit. It's the same thing here for the right and the left side. Make sure to have at least the same space that you have at the top and bottom. Uh, but a rule that I usually follow is I give it twice that amount of space to just again make the design breathe a little bit and not feeling too clunky the fourth tip is making your corner rounded in my opinion if you want to make your design uh, look more modern use rounded corner like so right now it's turned all the way up and it might be too much depending on what you're trying to achieve but in my opinion if you try to achieve a modern design please don't use square corner like this at least make them rounded a little bit it doesn't have to be a lot just very discreet like that it's just gonna make your design feel a bit more natural and modern also just square corner just imply strict and rigidity that convey a message of yeah something that is rigid whereas something that have rounded corner is just a bit more soft and natural on the eyes and the final tip is to use smoothed curve for your animation so here we're in fusion and if i play what i've done i have a simple animation here on that text getting out of a mask but as you can see it's not so nice because we have a linear curve right now if i open the spline select my text as you can see we have just a linear line right here and that makes the animation pretty boring in my opinion so the first thing you can do is here selecting your two point hitting 
S to get a S curve for your animation. And already right there, that's just gonna look a lot more natural because we're gonna have some ease in and ease out. This alone gonna make your title look and feel way more professional. You can then go a step further and playing with those handles to really get the look that you want. And another thing that I would recommend is here, hitting the letter T on your keyboard to bring the ease in and ease out. And here you can just play with the value without having to just use the handle, which is a bit hit and miss and hard to replicate. So here for an animation in, I will just put the ease in at 85. And right now, if we do a quick before and after comparison, as you can see, our title looks a lot more natural and way better. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles created from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.